Yo, what's up everyone? This is CryptoBox. With another video, we create videos about blockchain games, NFTs, and more. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss big opportunities. So in today's video, we have Crypto Raiders. You might have heard of this game. It's one of the other dungeon pixel games, but on Polygon. Uh, you can see they have about a total supply of 100 million and their token price is already pretty high. I actually hit 14 or 15 dollars and they started at 10 cents. So uh, yeah, 10 cents is really crazy. It went down a bit after their pre uh, their public sale, went down to like 9 cents, that's it. And uh, now it's it went to $15, now it's down a bit, but still in profit if you bought at the zone before. Uh, unfortunately, CoinMarketCap hasn't picked up this data because they've just been recently added, and you can see that uh, they have a market cap of 55 million which is pretty decent and uh, to be honest I can go like you know 5x or 10x uh, maybe 20x actually uh, but as of right now I'm saying that it could go from 5 to 10x um, even 2x at the least I'd say but yeah you can see their volume is about 1.3 million dollars uh, if you scroll down, you can see that they're on like Sushi Swap, which is for Polygon and Ethereum. And yeah, that's basically the basics of it. It's uh, another dungeon pixel game. Here you can see this is their Poo coin. Uh, right now at $6.4. Uh, if we went back in time, I actually found out about this game uh, at this candle right here. Uh, but it was like around here, the price it was about $10, $11. And so uh, I didn't really want to make a video, obviously, because I could tell it was about a drop because of the sudden increase. So uh, I thought it was the worst time to actually make the video. And honestly, I'd say it's still correct. Uh, here you can see that this is 10 cents where it started. Right off the bat, went uh, $2 and went up and dropped back to 26 cents. I don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah, that's basically how this token went you can see the volume increase went up by so much and now it's uh, back to what it was around the periods before so if we go to their twitter here we can see they have about 19k followers and uh, you can see raid dungeons earn gear level up an nft based dungeon crawler on polygon uh, pvp duels and quests now live so it's one of your other dungeon games where you raid dungeons, you can play with your friends or you can go against them. You can see they post uh, quite often or they retweet uh, a bunch in a day. Um, like at least I'm saying they retweet or they're really active on Twitter at least like six to seven retweets or tweets or whatever. And that's in just in a day. So if we go to their website right here, you can see that these are like their NFTs and these are the bosses or the monsters you can you're gonna be going up against in the game uh pretty cool art nothing too crazy or anything because obviously it is simple because it's pixel art uh but you know nft dungeon games are pretty cool i think they're pretty nice and it seems like this one is on polygon which is more rare of an appearance to me at least here you can see this is you know the graphics like minting your own uh, NFT which right now you can't because you can buy them on OpenSea but right now they are sold out for their mint so mint's gone mint is long gone you can't mint anymore you can see this is raiding the dungeons like this guy right here you'd be fighting him in game I uh, got loot like these swords uh, map whatever potions all these in-game items uh, here we can see this is their uh, like trailer or teaser and if we skip forward a bit, it has a uh, the dungeon right here, the dungeon maps. Pretty cool. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, nice for an NFT game at least. And here you can see they have like a Pokemon type battling style where it's turn by turn and you click buttons of what you want to do, like run away or attack. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like mixed in with the Pokemon battle style and dungeon gameplay from other games. So here you can see this is a roadmap, not really in detail or anything. Unfortunately, they don't list the quarters or the times of when they want to do these changes. Um, but here you can see the recruitment event. 
the dungeon raiding act one we have already launched five dungeons that our community has loved but now it's time to intertwine dungeons and storyline and an exciting four dungeon act one so it seems like they already have five dungeon maps and they're planning to have a new act so that's pretty cool you have the guilds so guilds are if you don't know what guilds are it's like having a clan or a group of members or friends and uh, use them to create a team to play your character shared guild loot custom permission structures a, go a guild or a bonus are among some of the exciting features ahead so they have some bonuses of being in a guild sharing uh, loot with each other which is like what you get in return that you can like the play to earn the aspect and then you have the port to unity now unity is like one of those uh, game development apps or game development uh, softwares that a lot of people use here you can see we are building the game in a multi-year horizon and it's time to pour our game to an engine that will scale with us this is a big undertaking that we are investing heavily into so it seems like they're also uh, using the unity engine which is very very popular uh, you can see these are their events uh, one of them being Christmas events which is it seems like it's still going on but I'm assuming this will end soon uh, starting from December 15th you can see and uh, yeah it's basically what you can get in the game they talk about how the event works here you can see upcoming events seems like they don't have any uh, inactive events that they've had like prize structures as you can see you could have won this much if you were in you know first second third whatever and yeah so if we go over to their open sea we can see that they already have about 1.5k ethereum traded which is also really good and impressive they have uh so far 3.2 thousand owner owners so i'm guessing like some of those guys play or they're just holding uh i'd say more are playing than holding obviously because if you're just holding the NFT, you know, you could play with the NFT and you don't need their actual tokens unless you're doing some staking in their pools or whatever. Here you can see that their floor price is about 0 0.09, but I remember this was like really high when I found the game out. Um, It, it was probably around the 0 0.3 range to 0 0.4 if I were to check right here. Uh, as you can see right here, it was really high up. Uh, to 0.5 at max which is half an ethereum which is about 2000 something dollars which is a lot and 50 sales on that day and then obviously it dropped down and now it seems like it's at 0.13 as of january 15th so it's it's getting a lot of sales actually it's very pop popular or has a lot of volume of trades here you can see like about 20 minutes ago there was two trades uh, in like an hour you can see all the amount of trades that were happening and you can see some of them sold for higher prices and obviously this is because they have levels to the characters and having higher levels is obviously worth more because you can probably do more things in the game and earn more in the game you can see like uh, this one is level 8 sold for two point four thousand dollars and if you were to check how much that is uh, literally two thousand seven hundred dollars and also if we check right here you can see that the nft has an inventory now these nfts if you don't you know use their inventory or take the stuff from their inventory then you will be selling whatever is in this guy's inventory so these items uh he wouldn't look like this normally he would actually look more uh naked of items but like you can see a bunch of items are on him like some different legs and um, whatever this is on his face. But you can see this is the inventory and you can see all the amount of different items that is on his inventory. And this adds to value because this is you know in-game items that you could probably use for uh, things you want to do in the game and earn more. So that's basically crypto raiders for you guys uh hopefully you appreciate this video and learn something new you can also join our twitter and discord server to be a part of our like-minded community we're adding members to our team so if you'd like to join the team join up to discord ask me a few questions also if you have questions about uh, nft gaming crypto whatever join the community because i actually found this game through our community and uh, if you want to find some cool gems or games join the community 
So don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and I'll see you guys later. Peace.